absolutely no group of men that publicly humiliates, publicly puts down their own women the way that black men do. You don't hear white men talking about white women the way that black men talk about black women. You don't hear Asian men doing it. You don't hear Latino men, Native American men. You do not hear any other race of men putting down their women publicly in the same way that black men do. Uh, I don't know what world this young lady come from, but she has no idea what the hell she is talking about. White men don't give two shakes about their mom or their women. They can't stand their women. In fact, they are the reason why feminism started to begin with because they were so oppressive and abusive towards their women. Same thing with the Asian men. They don't give a dick about their women. I mean, the Middle Eastern men don't give a, a rat's tail about their women. It's funny how you get black women to say this kind of stuff boldly and aggressively despite all the white boys on YouTube talking day in and day out about white women. But yet she can come on this thing, this platform and say that and again, throw black men under the bus and if they can't find the bus, they go steal a tractor and roll over us with it because this is how they treat us. The truth of the matter is, white men can't stand their women. They have a very dysfunctional relationship with women and it begins with the relationship they have with their mother. Same thing for Asian men, same thing for Middle Eastern men, same thing for African men, depending on which part of Africa you're talking about. These people have innately uh, uh, unhealthy relationships with their mothers that affect the way they go through life. Do you realize that if anyone was to treat a black man's sister the way Middle Eastern men treat their wives, that black man will go home. He will beat that Middle Eastern man to a pulp. And anybody who don't like it. The reason why these systems are so oppressive all the way through to women because no man cares. They don't care if it's their mother. They don't care if it's their daughter. They don't care if it's their sister. Women are down, men are up. And that's the way they see it. And that's the way they like it. And that's the way they want it. So no, they might not be online talking about it all day because they don't have to. The reason why the white boy is online talking about it because he has lost control over his woman in Western society. He no longer has a dominating position over women. This is why they try to tell you that we live in a gynocracy, or it's properly pronounced gynocracy. This is why these white boys say we live in a gynocracy when we don't. The problem is that they just don't have a dominating position over their women anymore and they can't stand it. White boys have a very, very, very dysfunctional relationship with white women in general, and it starts with their mama. They curse their mamas out. They tell their mamas, I hate you. I can't stand you. They throw stuff at their mamas. When they little children, they do this. So don't sit online, sister, and say how they don't do this. They do way worse. Way worse. Our dysfunctional relationship with black women is because of black women. The, re the dysfunctional relationship that white boys, Middle Eastern boys, Asian boys, and African boys have with black, have with their women, it's because of the men. Huge difference. That young dude, Austin Holloman, Holloman, how you pronounce his name? The little passport bro that, had, that just got chased out of Brazil. His downfall started with his relationship to his mother. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. You know, a lot of people don't realize the relationship you have with your mother is going to carry over uh, to the relationship, the kinds of relationships you have with other women as you go on through life. My mom doesn't use hard language. She doesn't even curse at all, to be honest. She don't drink. She's never drank. She's never smoked. She's not a loud woman. She's not a feisty woman. And neither, neither are my aunts, my great aunts, my grandmother, or none of her sisters. I mean, the women in my family are very well maintained. 
You know, I, I've, I've said this in other videos. My wife acts like she was raised within my family. When you look at how I deal with my wife and how our relationship is, a lot of what you are seeing is the fact that my wife triggers something in me because she is the kind of woman that I grew up respecting. Listen to what I'm saying here. Austin, the passport bro, he has no respect for his mom. Proof, box the tape. You are out with a woman. I'm out with my mother right now, right? We're at the tattoo shop. And she thinks while we're out there with a bunch of dope beans out here outside of Deep Valley, that I'm not in control. Mother, son, daughter, girlfriend, I don't care what the damn it is. The man is always in control because if one of these dope fiends come slap her on the ass, she not gonna look at herself to say something, she gonna look at me. No, I'm gonna slap that mother. not gonna do that, I don't believe it. No. Therefore, yeah. I'm making, shh. I'm in the video. No. I'm in the video. Therefore, I'm in control. Now, first thing is, first thing you notice is the language of his mother. My mom has never talked that way, my brothers and sisters. Never. I've never heard my mom use that kind of language. And I don't even curse in front of my mama, and I got grandchildren. Four of them. Number two, Austin is hanging out with his mom in Deep Ellum. For those who are not familiar with Dallas, Deep Ellum it's like Bill Street in, in Memphis, or like, uh, uh, or like Bourbon Street, you know, down in New Orleans. That's Deep Ellum, it's like a strip. Why would you be hanging out, drinking on a strip with your mother? That is so inappropriate, I can't even begin to touch it. It's not even appropriate for the daughters to be hanging out with their moms in that kind of environment. The son, I'm sure, should not be hanging out with their mom walking down the strip. And his mom don't look bad, so I mean, it's it like you got a milf on your arms. You know what I'm saying? You walking around, and, and, and now he posts the video talking about suppose somebody smack her on the butt. You know why he's doing that? Because she's sitting there in booty shorts. His mom is walking around Deep Ellum in booty shorts, and it's messing with him. It's messing with him. It's messing with him. And, and then he shush his mom. I, man, I would never do my mom that, bro. I don't have to agree with her. I don't have to like what she said, but I am not going to shush my mom. No, I'm not doing it. I might give her a look. I might actually, you know, let it go, leave that topic alone, but I'm not going to shush my mom. My mom is not a child. She is my superior. Understand that. She is my mama. She is my elder and I'm going to give her the respect of an elder. Her gender doesn't matter. This is the problem y'all have. When you make everything about gender, you distort the natural order of hierarchy within your family structure or within your society or community. Our elders are our superiors. Don't matter if the elder is a woman. You afford that woman with every bit of the uh, of respect that you can muster up in your body. She is your superior. Now, I don't mean she owns you. I don't mean she rules you. I mean she is your cultural superior. She is your social superior. You don't deal with her like you deal with your peers. You don't interact with her like you interact with your peers. She is above you. She is above your peers. And you should understand that. But if you don't, if you make everything about male, female, you won't see that. This is why your relationships with women are so distorted and dysfunctional. You don't even have respect for your own mom. I, I, I'm not gonna hit my mom back. I'm not gonna push her down. I'm not gonna scream at her. I'm not gonna tell her I don't love her. I'm not gonna shush her, tell her shut up. Ooh, man. In fact, but you know, the, the school I'm from, if an OG would have walked by and seen another dude telling his mom shut up, he'd have snuck him. Oh man, man, we'd have stolen the dude, man. You tell your mama shut up? Don't you talk to your mama like that. You know what I'm saying? We'd have stolen on him. 
Y'all have no respect for women in general and it starts with your dysfunctional relationships with your mothers. So again, first thing here, the way his mama is, the language she used, the cursing, the way she's dressed. Second thing, they hanging out together like a damn couple on a strip at nighttime drinking together. Third, he's way too comfortable in the way he talks in front of his mom. And, and it's messing with him that his mom is dressed the way she's dressed. It's messing with him because he's talking about it. He's conscious not talking about somebody smack on the butt. He's worried about that. I am proud to say that's a worry I would not have had growing up. My mama just didn't dress like that. My mom was very, very, very conservative. She didn't dress like that. That's a worry I wouldn't have had. I mean, for none of the women in my family, it's just a worry I wouldn't have had. I would never have to worry. First of all, me and my mom wouldn't have been hanging out with me. Me and my mom ain't gonna hang out when I was 20 something years old. We gonna be walking down Burberry Street together drinking, drinking daiquiris. That's never gonna happen, bro. My mom is not my friend. My mom is not my peer. And when you don't understand the hierarchy and how you deal with women based on your relationship to those women, you will never understand how to deal with another woman, period. Because what is your relationship to a woman that you meet out and about? You have no relationship with her. She is a stranger and she is an autonomous human being as far as you are concerned, which means you have to bring a certain degree of respect for her individualism. You have to bring a, a certain degree of respect for her being her own person before anything else could come about. Now, this is a problem I have with a lot of you dudes because y'all don't like to hear that. Y'all think out the gate, respect goes out the way. She supposed to just worship you because you're a man. Y'all got problems. Suppose y'all had a daughter. Would y'all want some man demanding that y'all daughter bow to him the second they meet? He ruled her? Y'all wouldn't like that, bro. But then some of you dudes wouldn't mind because y'all y'all have the mindset of the white man, of the Middle Eastern, of the Asian, of the African. Some of y'all wouldn't mind. We are trying to adopt the mindset of the kinds of men that don't care about women. The, 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 the manosphere was created by white boys. The whole red pill, white boys. Black pill, white boys. Incel, white boys. MGTOW, white boys. All of this is created by white boys. These terms that we use, like we live in a gynocratic society, white boys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all, all these terms, you know, the, ho the, the whole, the whole uh, 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 vernacular around this stuff is created by white men. They created it all. They are the reason why we have this dysfunction between men and women to begin with. They are the reason why we have feminism in existence to begin with. They are the reasons for it. Because they have always been very, very, very oppressive towards women because the man is physically stronger. And they understood that and they would impose that. As young as 12, 13 years old, man, they'll smack their mom around. Their mom better not get out of line with them, man. They batter her them out. We don't do that. So what I see in, 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 in this young man, this passport brother, is that the first flaw I see is that he has a very, very dysfunctional relationship with his mother. It's a very inappropriate relationship. And I don't mean inappropriate in the terms of sexual, I just mean inappropriate. Because he don't have a fundamental understanding that his mom is not his friend. You know, your mom should be walking around with you at nighttime on a strip, drinking daiquiris or whatever y'all drinking out there in booty shorts. Your mom shouldn't be dressed like that. Now, I ain't saying your mom shouldn't dress like that. She shouldn't be dressed like that, walking in that environment with you. If she want to be a hot girl, she should do that on her own or with her friends or with a man she's dating or with your daddy, something like that. She should be out having adult time or, 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 you know, their time. She shouldn't be out with her child because that's not adult time. Hanging out with your child in that kind of environment is not even right. I would never go on a set like that, walk down Bourbon Street with my 30-year-old daughter, drinking together, and she got on booty shorts. Her ass cheeks clapping all over the place, and we just key keying walking down the street drinking on that. What kind of mess is that, man? Y'all don't see the inherent, inherent inappropriateness of that? 
That is not cool. And I would never do it. And I don't think my daughter would want me to do it. So his relationship with his mama basically set him up for everything else that followed. Come on, man. Well, come on, man. Listen, bro. It's time for us to elevate ourselves to a higher level. You know what I'm saying? This, this level of understanding that we've been working on, man, it's not gonna work anymore. You know, we need, we, we need serious help and only a real man can help you out of this here, man. This is why I'm here. I notice a lot of you dudes don't like what I say. Y'all, y'all subscribe to the channel, you know, because you, you know, one video, and then after you see another video and I don't say what you want me to say, you unsubscribe. You, getting mad at me is not gonna help you, bro. I, I, I have nothing to lose in what I'm doing. Y'all have to understand that I'm not here for financial gain. I have nothing to lose in what I'm doing. But y'all have everything to lose in not listening to me. You think about it. You think about it. On that note, I'm out of here. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.